guys welcome to this channel it's Max from the Max creation in today's video we are going to let us to look at the latest developments we are going to look at the latest developments in Qatar right now and the Ministry of Interior launches what we call the Qatar digital ID card app this is a new app that is going to to actually contain your digital ID and actually for the latest information that we have the ID the digital uh, ID all the digital ID app will have that identity uh, for all citizens and residents that will be living or are going to live or who are actually living in Qatar for the citizens and the residents. Where is it coming from and why at this time? Remember, we've been having what we call the 14th edition of the Melpol uh, exhibition that is in the DECC Convention Center. Uh, remember, when we talk about uh, the Melpo exhibition, we, we are actually talking about the homeland. We are talking about the latest developments by the homeland security and the civil defense. And the, the participation of the, 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 the exhibition actually uh, attracted more than 99 entities to come and showcase the latest developments they have when it comes to the digital wise or when it comes to the digital era where things need to be digitalized or need to move in a digital way at that time. So uh, there are very many entities that uh, showcased and showed whatever they had to, to give out that uh, will probably prove to you that the world is moving very fast in one way or the other. So the latest information is that the Minister of Interior, uh, after the uh, Minister of Interior during the exhibition, also launched what we call the digital ID card app that is going to be used by all residents and uh, and the citizens in the country. However, something that still I, I need to know to let you know is that we don't know yet. However, if the plastic cans will still stay, we shall also let you know when we get that kind of uh, information that will be coming from the authorized people at that time. But apparently, we are still using what we call our plastic cans uh, at the same time. But don't remember. This will just also going to be what you call a digital wallet and it will contain all your details in one way or the other. Remember, uh, when you look at the Melpo expression that was launched, the uh, digital ID was launched. But something between that we need to understand, why is this Melpo, uh, Melpo exhibition and why at this time these things coming up? Remember, it is one way uh, where we are moving in what you call a digitalized era where we are moving so fast and remember it is uh, as per, 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 per the information that we got from um, from the Minister of the Interior it is just going to provide what we call the latest and distinguished services to both the citizens and the residents living in Qatar at that time. Remember it is aiming towards what we call as per, per the Minister of Internal Affairs, Minister of uh, Internal Affairs it is aiming towards what we call the national uh, digital transformation. And one of the national digital transformation is one of the objective of Qatar's uh, is one of Qatar's objective of uh, 2030. Uh, that by 2030, at least they should have what we call a digital, a national digital transformation. And when we talk about the digital national uh, transformation, someone may ask me a question and say, "What ca what can it look like? And what is it going to look like?" Remember, the world is moving very fast at a very fast rate, and uh, right now things are keep on changing every single moment of day. Uh, new inventions, new innovations are coming in. Innovations, uh, innovations. We are improving some things that used to happen before are being improved on, that's what we call innovation. And when you look at invasion itself, the new, new technology is being invented in one way or the other. So it is one of the national digital transformation as per the Minister of Internal, Internal Affairs. And it is one of their objective, of Qatar's objective by 2030, that they should have a completely a national, dig, national digital transformation economy among ministries and uh, actually uh, that one is added and says among ministries whereby for example if you have information or your information will be shared uh will, all information will be shared among all the ministries in Qatar that are responsible that in case you go to one ministry they'll have your information you go to another ministry they'll have your information you go to another ministry they'll have information because it will be on just on what we call a digital app or a digital where they can still virtually access your information and 
Someone may ask me a question, someone may ask what could be one of the reasons for that is just to have what you call trust and uh, recognize the, the entity of that person in one way or the other. So in today's video, we are going to look at the reasons why this service is coming at this time. That is according to the Minister of Internal Affairs, why the digital uh, ID card app that is being introduced as if it's one of the objectives of 2030 by the government of Qatar, then what is the benefit? As you, what do you benefit from? Or what does it, what, how does it benefit me and how does it benefit you as a person? Or how does it benefit you as a person who came to, uh, to, to do or to look for a living in this country? Or if you're resident in this country, and how does it benefit them too as a citizen? One of them, he said, the new services provides, they provides what we call the highest degree of trust in obtaining what we call the digital identity of the users through what we call secure applications. That every ministry can really access your information in a very fast way you can even also by yourself that you can access that information in the first more the fastest mode though that's why they, they, they are moving to what you call the digital and digital id uh, uh, uh the transformation in one way that it is to have the highest what to have the highest degree of trust whereby everyone can access your information in case you are to go to some ministries and you need to access some information it kind gets very easy and very clear because they will have your details and the details will be accessed very fast other than you first having to present your cutter or your plastic ad your plastic id to to look for your number but if in that case you only have your number even if you don't have the id your information can be accessed with the trust and at that time because it will contain your id number then it will also contain your future uh, it will contain your facial future meaning that the people can identify you very fast and give you the service that you want at one time then still number two is facial recognition of the users stored in the ministry of interior database in this way that it is to, to recognize your face, your facial, ex, uh, fa facial representation, if you are in that data database, so that at the same end you can you can access the services that are being given to you at one or the other, and still also as per the ministry, it is for protection purposes that in case someone needs it, need, someone needs to use your identity to claim for something in this guys to claim for something, he cannot get it untrolled they really have to verify that it's the real person in you. That is what we call the digital, the digital transformation, that no one can make false of you and no one can make false pretend to steal something that does not belong to you unless he has uh, he, his facial recognition is in what we call the Ministry of Foreign Affairs uh, database. For example, now uh, we've seen so many people, for example, you get a call for someone is calling you, give me your ID number, give me your mobile number, in this kind. So when you look at the digital transformation, I think this is one way that is going to stop all those kind of dubious activities or those kind of uh, uh, activities that are not called for by the government. Then also to protect what we call the internet transaction uh, along, along with the lines that are in regulations with the state of Qatar. Uh, that is in order to avoid the denial and signature of the weather bar. Uh, for example, it's just going to be, for example, people who buy things online, it is going to be very good because it will definitely give a signature of you and it will give uh, all details of you, meaning that you've accepted to carry out transaction and you cannot deny that transaction in any way or to do any kind of food in any way like that. So that is part of the advantages that we have for that matter and that is part the what the Minister of Interior is talking about. Uh, that is what we call the dicto era that we're going to need. So at a time when it comes and you need to transform to that side, please, it is, I think it will be of our benefit in one way or the other. Also, yeah, as, uh, also it's, uh, 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 as per the Minister of Interior, also the state is that uh, with a digital transformation that is going to be introduced, what you call a digital transformation, then it will also uh, try to cap down what you call 
forgery of documents because those guilty documents whatever all approved documents in Qatar will have what you call a dicto seal that can be really identified or can be identified fully by other ministries to avoid such kind of any other things like forgery or of any case of tampering with any government document that is being given in one way or the other so it will be very hard because it will be dictated uh, it will be of a dicto, um, uh, dicto document that will be easily be, be identified with all the systems in case it is being contained in the database it will be identified fully by what we call other ministries easily and very fast then also uh, it's, it's also what, what we call um, then also uh, as per the minister of, uh, um, minister of foreign affairs minister of interior it also stresses that uh, this one it will also electronically be used alongside what you call the plastic card and to attain what you call to access services very fast in one way or the other to access those services that can be accessed in that format meaning that it becomes a little bit very easy to identify and to have whatever kind of document or whatever kind of service you need to have also at that time also the application will actually contain what you call a digital wallet which provides storage access for services so as per, per the ministry that digital uh, digital id or digitalization process that uh, it means that they will have what you call you also have what you you will have what you call a digital wallet that digital wallet will be your your digital id there will be your digital uh, driving license there will be your digital um, everything that is digital that you suppose your digital documents will also be under will also be in that wallet that you can only access by yourself so all meaning that all documents will be stored in in one folder that you can easily access them very fast in case you are needed to verify that you are right the right path the rightful person for that document or you're the rightful person owner of those documents or you are the right person or rightful person to do any transaction online or to, to signature of any transaction that is being given in one way or the other remember what we, what we call is that the dicto wallet when we talk about the dicto wallet this dicto wallet is a uh, dicto wallet it will include what we call your driving license it will include the plastic Qatari id it will include also the driver's license uh, vehicle license all documents that are in position with you in position of you and uh, they're digitally they'll be included in the, that dicto dicto wallet as provided by the ministry of internal affairs so hope I've tried to share something. So those are the latest development and one of the latest development that was introduced in what you call the Milpo exhibition uh, convention. Uh, um, remember that was exhibition of uh, uh, different security entities and uh, the homeland and the civil defense uh, uh, which was in DCC at the same time. So remember, by the way, if it's your first time, to, to come across this channel, please consider subscribing. By the way, don't forget to hit that notification bell because it will be very important for you to get the updates. Remember, it's next from the next question. If it's your first step, please give up a thumbs up. And if you feel this video is very important, please share it to a friend. Let them know uh, and let me know what you want me to talk about in the comment section. I'll always be very grateful and more than happy to get back to you. See you again in the next video. Remember, it's next from the next question.